Hello and welcome to another Raggies, Beers, Wines and Spirits review. I'm a little bit wet. I've got a cagoule, I've got three fence panels blown down and uh, one snapped the post at the bottom which obviously makes them all uh, go in. So in the absolute bloody windy as hell, chucking it down with rain, uh, I have to do a quick repair. Luckily I've got cable ties so I've managed to cable tie things together and luckily I've got shrubs this side and cable tied them to the shrubs. Bit of a cheat way of doing it, but uh, I can't be digging holes and re-cementing uh, when it's like this, you know, it's just impractical. So, for this review, it's the Stubby Review. A little stubby bottle from uh, Morrison's St. Omer Export. It uh, comes in a 25 CL bottle. It's classed as a lager beer. We'll call it a lager. I don't call it beer. It's a lager. 4.5% uh, volume. Got it for... I think it was either 29 or 39 pence. So, I don't know if that's a bargain or not. I got ripped off on the last, the last time I reviewed a stubby. So, we'll give it a pour. Can't see this being a long review because it's only a little dinky bottle. So yeah, nice golden colour. Good head on it. Nice malty smell. And obviously 4.5% is actually stronger than your likes of Carling, uh, Foster's, Carlsberg, all them types, and slightly uh, weaker than you likes of Stella, Budweiser, Copperberg. So, you know, for a little stubby bottle, it's quite a strong um, lager. A bit of sweetness in the aftertaste. Um, there's definitely malt coming through in it. For a lager, uh, it's actually got a bit of taste to it, which is uh, when you take, you know, when you taste the likes of Fosters and them, they, they ain't got much there. To be fair, so let me see if I can bring up uh, any. Um, internet with it. Couldn't get any internet early when I tried on my last review so I doubt if I'm going to get any now but it's worth a try. So Saint Omer Saint Omer beer. Okay that'll do. On sale at Calais Wines. Um, it's a French brewery, so French beer in the Pas de Calais department, situated in the Nord Pas de Calais region. And as you can tell, not very good at French. So it's a European pale lager style beer brewed by Brasserie de Saint Omer in Saint Omer, France. So let's have a quick look at it. Obviously, this was bought at Morrison's. So, uh, so no red density or retention. Lots of carbonation visible. Crystal clear, light golden colour. Um, a smell of corn, faint trace of noble hops, faint melt, taste, should have kept it cold longer. As temperature rises it starts to taste like a cheap adjunct beer with traces of booze in the finish. Mouthfeel isn't bad, carbonation is moderate, balance is okay. Junk cold is a decent little session beer at a low price. So, based on the ingredients limited, limit, l l listed, I'll get it out in the end. Caramel, caramel colouring appears to be used to give this beer its brass like appearance. The short head of bright white lace drops readily and it leaves a little lacing behind. The nose is sweetest 
with an adjunct edge to the point that I had to check the can to reassure myself that I was actually drinking a beer. Hops are limited throughout in both bitterness and flavour and any character that, that there might be there is in fact coming from op ex extract. Not that that's the worst thing a brewer can do to this beer but when very little is used it's not generally of any use at all. It finishes sweet, I did say there was a sweet aftertaste, it but fades quickly without much ado. Pass this one by, it's not a worth, even worth trying at a low cost. That's a bit miserable, isn't it? Uh, so another in-depth review here. Brass in colour with a quickly vanishing head. Retains aluminium smell outside of the can. Sweet raisins, smells like a raisin roll pastry. Taste, really not flavourful, quite weak and you can taste the aluminium. Thank God I had it out of the bottle. Uh, barely tastes enough like a lager to qualify as a beer, but it's far better than every US water beer I've tasted. It's not at all unpleasant. Slightly more body than water, with very weak carbonation. I do feel this beer is special for being 5% alcohol and so un un unoffensive and similar to water. Perfect for those who are into water beer. Bit of a strange review of that, I don't understand this water beer review. What I will say, um Definitely a sweetness in the aftertaste. It is a lager. Lagers, you know, they are they aren't that great, are they, let's be fair. Um unless you're a real lager connoisseur. Uh I'd class this higher than the likes of Carlsberg and Foster's, them sort, but I won't class it as high as possibly uh, the likes of Saint Etienne, Stella Artois. And certainly not in the same category as your Birmarettis and Peronis. Bit of caramel there as well, actually. That said, not a bad beer. Right. So, we'll give that beer about 3.9 out of 5. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't fantastically good either. But yeah, not bad. Not too bad at all. Pleasant, I won't buy it again, but it, it was only bought for review purposes anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, see you soon.